my friends, Jerry Rosa here in the Rosa String Works Workshop. Today is Tuesday, May 17th. My son's birthday, I think, is the 19th, and my wife's birthday is the 21st. So, whew, I better look out. <laughs> Can I remember it when it counts? That's the thing. Welcome to another uh, Tech Tip Tuesday. We're going to get to that in just a minute, but first I thought I'd show you the status of the mandolin and the binding. And we'll just zoom in here kind of close and take a look at that. You can see I've got the binding all the way around. So in other words, from right up here, around this way, all the way around here, all the way around up to here. So I have to go from here yet, up around this, and back around here to complete it. So I got one piece, two pieces, three pieces to put in. I've already put in one, two, three, four pieces on, on here. So there's seven pieces that make up the back. So I got three more to go. And then we got to flip it over and do the front side. I'm going to interrupt this video for just a second and show you a photo of Bill Monroe and his mandolin that was uh, taken by someone who was visiting the Hall of Fame. I well, hope you enjoyed that look at uh, Bill Monroe and his mandolin. I have been fortunate enough to be within that close of that mandolin a couple of times. Uh, I was introduced to Bill a couple of times and shook his hand and he had the mandolin by the neck in his other hand. <laughs> so it was kind of cool. So as I mentioned, it's Tech Tip Tuesday and I have a tech tip today. We're going to stay with the grinder for a while because there's quite a few tips on the grinder that I think people can learn from. And we're going to go in there and look at the grinder right now. Okay, our tech tip for today is how to know if you're doing a good job sharpening anything. And it doesn't matter what it is. It can be a chisel. It can be a wedge like this. It can be a shovel. It can be a lawnmower blade. The tip is the same on all of them. So here it is. The way you know if you're sharpening well is you watch the sparks coming over the top edge. Watch this. There's no sparks coming over the top yet. See that? That means I'm sharpening too far down on the edge. I haven't got up to the edge yet. Now, there's a little bit of spark bouncing off that front edge. If you watch there where that line is, you'll see those sparks bouncing off that front edge. And you can see how I'm making a very clean grind across there. Now it doesn't, it falls off over here, but it's one continuous grind all the way from here over. It does fall off over here, but that's because it was beat down or ground before. Okay, we're going to try this again. I don't feel like my camera was in the right angle for you to see these sparks coming over the top edge. Hopefully this will be better. I'm not sure you could see very well the little tiny amount of spark that was hitting that front edge, but if you can watch that little edge, that's the trick to making a perfect grind. You see how that is an absolute perfect grind. It's one continuous grind. There's not a bunch of uh, waves in it that you would see in a typical grind done by hand. If you, if you watch that, you'll see that it's a very consistent 
perfect grind and I, that is a very, very, very sharp edge right now. Now, granted, it could be a little bit sharper if you honed it a little bit or if you took a file to it a little bit, but it's pretty darn sharp and it wouldn't take much to cut yet, just the way it is right there. I just want to uh, emphasize one more time, it doesn't matter what you're sharpening. You can be sharpening a shovel, you can be sharpening a lawnmower blade, you can be sharpening a chisel. The trick is you watch for a consistent amount of spark coming over this front edge and it's a very minor amount of spark. I will tell you that if you're not watching for it, you may not even realize it. But you want to look at that spark edge and you want to keep that spark edge the same all the way across there and you pay attention to that spark edge is what you're looking at not the whole thing you're looking at that spark edge and if you keep you know the only other thing is you want to try to keep this at a consistent height you don't want to let it slide up and slide down you try to stay fairly consistent on how you're holding it and everything but the main thing is to watch that spark and when you get a consistent amount of spark coming over that edge and just it's a very small amount but you keep it consistent all the way across then you'll get a perfect grind like that you can see how that's one continuous hollow grind that's what you're going for and it like i said it really doesn't matter what you're sharpening anything that you sharpen on a grinder that's the way you want to try to sharpen it well my friends i hope you enjoyed another edition of tech tip tuesday if you do any amount of work on a grinder, that tip is much more important than you realize. And you will thank me, you will bless me later once you learn how to control that spark coming over that edge. It just changes the way you grind completely if you pay attention to that. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.